In this video, my goal is to show you how you need to create a list of tasks as well as dates based on repetition and repeat day plus. For example, in my first table, I have the task starting from 1st January, repeat 4 time and I want to repeat the task after 8 number of days. Each and everything is totally dynamic. For example, if I change 8 to 15, hit enter, you can see our series automatically update. And let's say I want to repeat this series 8 number of time, hit enter, each and everything is totally dynamic. Of course, you can sort this series based on date column or based on task column. How we will create this formula? I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this blank data sheet. The first thing we need to create formula step by step for date and then I will show you formula for task and then I will show you how to combine those two formula and how to use sort function to sort by either date column either task column whatever you want. I will click on H4 cell and now simply click on formula bar type equal define let function open parenthesis for the name one I will simply define as hit comma and for the name one value I will use a very easy sequence function double click how many rows you want in this case I will skip this parameter by hitting comma how many columns you want in this case I will use a very easy max function open parenthesis and for the number one I will define whole repetition column now this formula will extract the max value from repetition column. I will close parenthesis for max and I will close parenthesis for sequence function. Now if I hit comma and simply write as close parenthesis hit enter, you can see we get a series starting from 1 till 5. Now I will click on my formula, go to formula bar and simply remove the closing parenthesis and also s. Now if I simply select my start date column, plus and now think about how many days you want to add each and every time with this start date. So in this case, I will select my repeat day plus column multiply by and now if I simply write S which is the sequence function result close parenthesis hit enter we get this type of series. Of course, I will select all of my series, click on number formatting, custom and for now I will choose this custom date format, hit OK. Now you can see we get a series starting from 11 but in this case I want to start this series from 1st January. Other confusion we have, I want to repeat this date 4 time but you can see we get 5 time repeat. So how we need to adjust our formula, I will click on formula again. And the first thing after staring, I will type open parenthesis and I want to subtract one from my sequence function result, close parenthesis and now if I hit enter, we solved our first problem. Start date, this is our start date and every time you can see we get 10 number of days repeating. For second row, you can see we have 5 days adding every time. For the second problem, I will use a very easy if condition. I will click on my formula bar again and we need to define if condition open parenthesis. Now I will define the whole repetition column again. If the value in repetition column is greater than or equal to my sequence function result, hit comma, then I want to return the result from my formula, hit comma on the very end. Otherwise, I want to get any result, open close parenthesis and now simply close parenthesis for let function, hit enter. Now our formula work fine. You can see in this case, I have repetition two days only and we get only two dates. Now if I simply change two to three, hit enter, each and everything is totally dynamic. The next thing, I need to convert all of these dates into a single column. So for this, I will use a very easy to column function. Simply write to column. Open parenthesis. This whole function result is my array. On the very end, hit comma. In this case, for ignore parameter, I will simply select my third option. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. And this is how we get a list of date. Now we need to build the same formula 
to repeat the number of tasks in same order. If I click on J4 cell and now simply click on formula bar and simply define let function open parenthesis. For the name one, I will define x this time, hit comma. For the name one value, we need to define the same sequence function. How many rows, I will skip this parameter. And now I will define max function, open parenthesis. Select the entire repetition column, close parenthesis, close parenthesis for sequence function, hit comma. And now I will define if condition, similar the one I discussed, open parenthesis. If the value in repetition column is greater than or equal to x, then I want to return the result from task column. Otherwise, I want to get the result na, open close parenthesis, close parenthesis for if condition, close parenthesis for let function and now simply hit enter. Now this is how we get the number of tasks in same order. Again, I will apply to column function open parenthesis on the very end hit comma and for the ignore parameter i will simply type 3 i want to ignore blank and error close parenthesis hit enter now you can see we get in same order the number of task repeating the only thing we need to combine these two formula so i will click on ectocell formula copy the whole formula hit ctrl x remove the equal sign hit enter Click on this formula and simply write htstack function. Open parenthesis. What is array 1? Now I will hit control V to paste my first function. Hit comma, alt enter, and this is my second function. Close parenthesis for htstack function. And now copy this whole formula, including equal sign. Hit control X. And now simply hit enter, double click on G4 cell, control V, hit enter. And this is how we create our formula. Of course, on this cell, I apply conditional formatting. If I simply click on manage rule, you can see a very simple conditional formatting. If G4 is task 5, 4, 3, 2, which color I want to return. I will close this window for now. And now I want to sort this data based on date column, not based on task column. So I will apply a very easy sort function, open parenthesis, on the very end hit comma, sort index I will define 2 and sorting order I will define 1, close parenthesis, hit enter and now our data is sort based on date column. And this is very, very useful when you are scheduling your task so you can easily spot out which tasks are coming. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. I will share this sheet with you and if you have any problems still, just let me know. Thank you so much.